Today we're making a granny square cat ear beanie. You can make this three different ways with eight squares for a brim, six squares for no brim, or two squares for a brim. I'll be doing the eight squares one and also go over how to do the six squares one. The two squares is pretty self-explanatory, but let me know if you have any questions about it. The granny square tutorial in this video is very basic. For less cuts and more in-depth explanations on each of the stitches, check out my standalone granny square video linked in the description. You can find the free written pattern at vivcrochets.com or linked in the description. And if you find this tutorial helpful, please leave a like or comment to let me know. Thanks so much and let's get started. For this project, I'll be using 120 grams of leftover Red Heart Super Saver yarn in white and ombre in green apple. These are medium weight acrylic yarns and I'll also be using a 5.5mm hook, some scissors, and a yarn needle. With our first color, and I'm using the white, you can either make a magic circle or a slip knot. Then we'll chain 4. And if it's hard to fit round 1 in this loop, you can chain 5 instead. So here are our 4 chains, and we're going to slip stitch to the first chain we made. So insert your hook through the V of the first chain and go under the loop behind the V as well. So you're under these two loops. Then with your thumb and middle finger, pinch the tail end and the chains together and pull them away from your hook. Then yarn over, pull through, and pull through the loop on your hook. And tighten the slip stitch. And now you should be pinching the center of the loop we just formed. To start round 1, chain 3. And this counts as our first double crochet. Then we're going to do two more double crochets into the ring. Now we have our first three double crochet cluster, and now we'll chain two for the corner. Then we'll go back into the ring with three double crochets. Then we'll chain two. Do three double crochets, chain two, do three double crochets. Now we should have four of these clusters with chain twos in between them. Now we'll chain two for our last corner. And we're going to slip stitch to the first stitch to close the round. So here is our chain three and we're going to slip stitch to the top of it. So insert your hook into that third chain. Yarn over, pull through, and pull through the loop on our hook and tighten it. And we'll do that at the end of every round. Now that round one is done, we can close the hole in the middle by pulling on the loose end. And we'll call the back of round one the wrong side. It has this loose end sticking out. Before starting round 2, we'll switch to our other color. To do that, we'll drop our first color, loop the second color onto our hook, pull it through, and make sure the tail end isn't too short, and tighten the white yarn. Now we can work with this new color and we'll leave the first one attached so we can pick it back up for next round. So for every round after we switch colors, we're going to turn like this. Then slip stitch into the chain 2 space below. Again to slip stitch, insert your hook into that space, yarn over, pull through, and pull through the loop on our hook, and tighten it. We turn every round to prevent the granny square from twisting. Then we'll work half of this corner. The other half will be worked at the end of this round. So we'll chain three, and again this counts as a double crochet. Then we'll do two more into the chain two space below for a total of three. Now we'll move on to the next space, and to get to the next space we need to chain one. And this next space is a corner space, as are all of the spaces in round two, so we'll do three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets, all into this chain 2 space. Then to get to the next space, we need to chain 1. And since this next space is also a corner space, we'll do 3 double crochets, chain 2, 
chain two, three double crochets. And we'll repeat this pattern, chaining one to get to the next space and doing three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets into the next corner. So after we chain one to get to the last corner, we're going to complete this corner by doing three double crochets and chain two. First, make sure your working white yarn is pulled to the left so your hook goes under it, not over. Then we'll do our three double crochets. Then we'll make sure that the white yarn is pulled to the wrong side with the loose end from the beginning. Then chain two and we'll slip stitch to close the round. Again, going into the top of the chain three. Now we'll switch back to our first color. So we'll drop the green, pick the white yarn back up, yarn over, and pull it through the loop on our hook. And we can tighten the green yarn. And again, we're going to turn like this and slip stitch into the chain two space below. But from now on, make sure you go under this strand of yarn to help hide it. And we're going to start with chain 3 and 2 double crochets into the chain 2 space below. Then we'll chain 1 to get to the next space. And this next space is not a corner space and you can tell because it's a chain 1 and not chain 2 space. So we're going to do just three double crochets into this space. Then we'll chain one to get to the next space, which is a corner space. And we'll do what we always do in the corner space, three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. And we'll chain one to get to the next space, which is not a corner. And in the spaces that aren't corner spaces, we'll do just three double crochets. And we're going to repeat this pattern all the way around. And again, in the last space, we'll complete the corner by doing three double crochets, making sure we're going under the green yarn. Then make sure the green yarn is pulled to the wrong side, chain two, and slip stitch to the top of the chain three. Now let's do round four with some notes on how to continue adding rounds to your granny square. For the start of every round, we're going to switch to the last color by yarning over and pulling it through the loop on our hook. Then turn and slip stitch going under the yarn strand. Chain three and do two double crochets into the chain space below. Every time we skip to the next space, we chain one. And if the space is a side space, which is a chain one space, we do three double crochets and move on to the next space by chaining one. If it's a corner space, which is a chain two space, we'll do three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets, then move on to the next space by chaining one. Every time we reach the end of the round, we'll complete the corner by doing three double crochets while catching the dropped colors working yarn. Then making sure that yarn is pulled to the wrong side, chaining two and slip stitching. Those are all the notes you'll need to continue adding rounds to your granny square. And we're going to continue adding rounds until the width of the square is a quarter of the circumference of your head. So my head measures about 53 centimeters, and if I divide that by 4, I'll get 13.25 centimeters. So I want my square to be a little less than 13.25 centimeters wide because it'll stretch. And I found that for my yarn, hook size and tension, 5 rounds is about 12.5 centimeters wide. 6 rounds would be too big, so I'll stop here and fasten off. We'll chain 1, cut our yarn about 10 centimeters long, pull through with our hook and tighten the knot. And we can also cut our other yarn off. And now we can weave in our loose ends. I show how I weave them in in my standalone granny square video. Also note that doing more rounds will increase the vertical length of the beanie but this doesn't matter as much because you can always fold up the brim a little higher. 
Now we're going to make 7 more of these squares for a total of 8 squares. If you don't want a brim to fold up, just make 6 of these squares and you can skip to the 6 squares assembly part of the video. Now that we have all 8 squares, we're going to stitch them together to form the beanie. This flat slip stitch seam I'm about to show you is a little more advanced. If you want something a little easier, you can do a regular slip stitch or sew with the whip stitch. First, we'll lay them out like this, 2x4 with the right side up, and we're going to go across the middle and attach all 8 together. And we'll take these two squares on the right and we'll attach these two first. First, we'll attach our yarn and I'll be using the green yarn for a visible seam. To attach our yarn, first we'll make a slip knot and we'll hold the yarn like this. Wrap the top around two fingers to form an X. Insert our hook under one side of the X, over, and grab the other side and pull it through. Remove your fingers, tighten the knot, take it off your hook, and we can place it down. Then take the bottom square and you see how there are two chains in the top right corner. One is for the right side of the square and one is for the top side. Insert your hook into the one along the top, which is the one on the left. Then take the other square and in the bottom right, insert your hook down through the chain along the bottom. Then place a the slip knot back on your hook. Tighten it. and pull it through both squares. Then chain one and we can move on to the next cluster of stitches. In the next stitch, we'll insert our hook through the V and out the back to grab only the back loop. Then make sure your hook goes over the working yarn. And in the next stitch of the top square, we'll go through the V and down, grabbing only the lower loop. Then we'll complete our slip stitch by yarning over, pulling through both squares and through the loop on our hook. Again, go into the bottom square and into the back loop of the next stitch, over the working yarn and through the lower loop on the next stitch of the top square. Yarn over, pull through both squares and through the loop on our hook. Then we'll do that one more time. and we should reach the chain one space after the cluster. At every chain one space, chain one, skip over it and start stitching together the next cluster. So we'll do three more slip stitches. Then chain 1 to skip to the next cluster and do 3 slip stitches here. And we'll continue that all the way across the side of the square. And don't forget that the chain 3 counts as a stitch, so make sure that you're slip stitching 3 times for every cluster. Once we reach the end, we'll do a slip stitch with the inner loops of the first chain. Then we can grab our next two squares to stitch together. And every time we skip over the gap between two squares, we'll chain one. Now we can stitch these squares together, starting with the chain before the first cluster. And we'll repeat the flat slip stitches and we'll continue this way until all 8 squares are connected. And remember that each side of the square starts at a chain and ends at a chain and to chain 1 every time you cross over to a new square. Now we have all 8 squares connected across and we can fasten off. Then we'll flip this over and fold it in half. Now we'll attach our yarn here, stitch up along the side, across the top, and down the other side. First, we'll need to rotate it so this corner is in the top right. Then we'll make a slip knot and attach our yarn to the chain like we did before. Thank you. 
and we'll chain one and start slip stitching across, chaining one every time we move onto a new square. When you reach the top, slip stitch those two chains in the corner and rotate to start stitching the top. Once we've connected the sides and the top, we can fasten off and attach our yarn here and stitch up, over, and down the other side. And now everything should be connected except there should be a little hole here at the end of our first seam. We can pull these two loose ends to the inside and double knot them together to close up the hole. Lastly, we can line the brim to straighten it out and hide these loose ends. Since the brim will be folded up, we'll work from the inside so when it folds up, it'll be right side out. We'll attach our yarn from the inside at the fold, specifically the chain space to the right of the fold. Then we'll chain one and do a single crochet into the same space. To do a single crochet, insert your hook into the chain space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through the two loops on your hook. Then we'll chain one to get to the next square, and again, insert your hook into the next chain space, and make sure you're going under these loose ends to hide them. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through the two loops. Then we'll do a single crochet into each of the stitches in the cluster and we'll go under both loops of the V. And for every chain one space between the clusters, we'll do a single crochet. We'll repeat this all the way around and remember when we jump to the next square, we'll do a single crochet in the chain space, chain one, then single crochet in the next square's chain space. Once we reach the end, we can slip stitch to the first stitch we made to close the round. And we can fasten off and weave in this loose end. And when you fold up the brim, it should look like this. It measures about 26 centimeters wide and 20 centimeters tall, and it fits my 53 centimeter head perfectly. If you don't want a brim, you just need six squares. To assemble it, we'll lay them out like this with the wrong side up. Then we'll flip these two squares over, and we're going to attach our yarn here on the other side and stitch across. Then we'll fold the top two squares down and stitch back this way and fasten off. Then we'll attach our yarn here and stitch up the side and fasten off. Then we'll attach it here and stitch up, over, and down the other side and fasten off. Then attach here and stitch up this last side and fasten off. And you can also line the brim the same way but from the outside. And here is how it'll look. It has the same measurements as the 8 square one with the brim folded up. That's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe and let me know if you have any questions. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.